Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the BookTube stats tag. So this was created by Anthony Andrews, and I was tagged in his original video. We have nine questions, and so without further ado, let's just get started. Question one, how and when did you discover BookTube? So I'm not entirely sure how I discovered BookTube. I Maybe I saw a tweet or something like that, I don't know. But um, I, I basically I discovered BookTube in about 2013, 2014, I want to say, something like that. I used to, when I worked for another company, I used to basically all day I would have my headphones on with YouTube videos on and I used to watch a lot of webinars and marketing videos and stuff like that. But I also started watching a lot of booktubers because basically it was a way for me while I was working to still be learning about new releases and hearing reviews and all of this stuff. So that's how I kind of got into watching booktube, but it was very, like, it was very passive for me. It was just something on in the background while I did my work. Question number two, how long have you done booktube? So I officially started several years ago, probably two or three years ago, on my book blog for socialbookshelves.com. But I only made uh, hauls, occasional tags, very occasionally, didn't really participate in the community, didn't really get much traction or anything like that. And um, it wasn't until I started up... It wasn't until I started uploading my haul videos from my book blogs channel to my main YouTube channel that I started getting interaction and like comments from people who I subscribe to and they maybe subscribe back to me. And I started doing that for myself from my personal channel in about August of last year. It's been about a year that I've been doing BookTube now on this channel. Question number three, what is your favorite thing about BookTube? I mean, it's a cop out, but it's the community really. It's the friends that I've made while here. Not necessarily as well, just creators. Like there are people like Lou G and Joe Smith, for example, shout out to you guys, well, you girls who, um, you know, have been really supportive of my videos and leave comments and we become friends like that even though they don't make videos of their own, you know? So I just, it's good to make friends from pe with people from all over the world as well, you know? Question number four, what is your least favourite thing about BookTube? Ew, how do I pick just one? I should Maybe I should do a things I don't like about BookTube video. Having one of those days today with the traffic outside. Would you guys be interested if I did like a things I don't like about booktube video? I don't know. Maybe it depends upon how well I answer this question. I think the main thing is like the drama and the politics. There really is like a lot of that going on and people like sweep it under the rug and pretend that it's not a thing. It's definitely a thing. And people talk about how like welcoming and supportive booktube is and don't get me wrong it is 90% of the time but there is also that there's this underbelly of, of booktube that you don't necessarily see unless you get really involved in the community and it's not always pleasant and you know I, I quit my office job because I didn't want any more office politics so it's a bit shit <laughs> to, to have it on booktube as well but um yeah I mean I guess it happens wherever you have any gathering of people so that's probably my least favorite thing all right question number five recommend a booktuber I'm going to say the first person who just popped into my head then was Beards and Books. I left a comment on his channel, on his one of his videos recently, just to say I'm really enjoying like watching the growth of his channel. I think he's uh, he makes some really thought-provoking videos and he really brings his personality to the table as well. And um, it's nice. It's nice every now and then I find a booktuber like that who I'm like, this person is awesome. I want to see more like... I would happily watch daily videos, you know? It doesn't matter what the video is about, I will watch it. And uh, even stuff like for a, you know, a relatively new booktuber, the you know, production quality is great, he carries himself really well on camera, you can always understand what he's saying, and, uh, and he's just a nice dude as well, very approachable. Question number six, how did you expect your channel to go, slash what were your goals when you started booktube? Honestly, I kind of expected it to grow to around the level that it's grown to, and that's not me being necessarily big-headed, it's just because, I mean, I know how to put together a reasonably good video. I can kind of convey my personality on camera. You know, I have lighting, a decent microphone, a decent camera, all of this stuff that helps. It's not necessarily the be all and end all. But again, because I've been making videos on and off for years, I kind of had that experience going into it. I also already had like an established base of people who I watch who didn't necessarily watch me because I wasn't making booktube videos. 
but it just meant that by actually leaving comments on some of the channels that I was into when I first started out, a lot of them came through and offered some support. And um, yeah, also I tend to get quite obsessive about stuff. So if I want to do something, I'm like, I'm going to do it properly. So I kind of knew I'd put a lot of effort into BookTube as well. And I think it's paid off. But yeah, in I guess I'll answer for now as well, like what my goals are now. I'm pushing 2,000 subscribers, so I'd like to hit that soonish. That'll probably be my last big milestone before the end of the year, I think. I'm really enjoying doing the buddy reads, so one of the big metrics that I'm monitoring actually is the like how many people are taking part in the buddy reads. I think for maybe not the next round, but the round after that, we're gonna have to come up with like some better way of communicating because we've already got buddy reads now with like 12, 13 people on board, which is great. I love it. I you know I like the feeling as though I've inspired someone else to pick up a book, even if they don't necessarily enjoy it. At least they gave it a go, you know. Question number seven. Are there any booktubers you used to watch but don't anymore? Yeah, like all of the big ones. Like uh, Christine from Poland Bananas Books. Don't really watch her. Um, even pe people like Books and Lala, Bookables, Little Book Owl, uh, Emma. What's Emma's channel's name? I've forgotten. Emma Books. <laughs> Um, those people, while I, I still do watch the occasional video, but I don't watch, like I used to obsessively watch every video from every channel in my subscriptions feed, and now my subscriptions feed has grown to a point at which that's just not possible, so now I have to be a little bit more picky. Question number eight, do you have a favourite book that was recommended by a booktuber? My top one there is probably going to be uh, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, which was recommended by Catalyst Reads not long ago, and Murphy Napier also swears by it. And I uh, read it at the start of this year, and it, it was great. It's not its not like set reading over here in the UK. Um, for fairly understandable reasons. I mean, it is a very American book, but it was just super enjoyable. And uh, yeah, shame I watched the movie first, because the book is better, although the movie is also good. And question number nine, tag some people. Okay, so we're going to do this in the same way I always do this, which is by going to my channel and seeing who recently left comments. So I am going to tag... Sophisticated Books, Melissa and Barnsley Reed, Mindy's Book Journey, Alex Black, Linda's World of Books, Weird Reads, Books for Life, Abby, Back, Abby Mac Reads, Minx Laura 123, and Christina's Bookshelf. There you go, enjoy. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on my answers, I guess. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.